ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Ingredients to get to know God. Place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. This is day three. Hallelujah. Day three of the fast. Praise God. This is three of 21. Hallelujah. We are submitting ourselves to Christ. We are moving in the things of God. We are making ourselves, hallelujah, we are making ourselves one with God. How are we doing that, praise God, when God draws us? Hallelujah. But one thing that we can do and that we have a responsibility of doing is yielding to the Holy Spirit, following the instructions of God. Doing what the Lord is telling us to do. We are to eat clean during this fast, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., praise God. And we're going to do that because that means that we're obedient. Hallelujah. Obedience is greater than sacrifice. Obedience is greater than sacrifice. So may we be obedient in this time and follow what the Lord is calling us to do, praise God. Hallelujah. We are still reading out of chapter 19 of Luke. Praise God. Remember, our 21-day fast will rest in Luke. It is a submission fast. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, focus on this chapter right here. Praise God. I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit said this. Hallelujah. To focus on this chapter because this chapter focuses on Jesus, which the Holy Spirit is a witness of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we're also submitting ourselves to whom? Jesus. Praise God. And so we need to make sure that we understand who he is, who we are serving, who is our Lord and Savior indeed. Praise God. Let's uncover that in this chapter right here. Hallelujah. Because there are a lot of teachings that come from this. But this is day three. Hallelujah. Congratulations for reaching day three. Praise God. And I pray that you stand fast. You are steadfast. Praise God. In this fast, doing what God is calling you to do. I pray that you are strengthened by the angel of the Lord. Praise God. I pray, hallelujah, that your mind is kept on Jesus Christ. I pray that you have a heart to pray every single hour. Hallelujah. Remembering Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, whether you're speaking in tongues or you're praying and having communication with God, that you sit and you wait and you listen to see if there's anything that he has to say in return. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because that's communication, not just when we talk, right? Because we can talk all day to the, to the Lord. Praise God. But what is he saying? Hallelujah. And let's be vigilant and pay close attention to what God is saying in this time. It's so important for our journey. It's so important for our destiny. Praise God. It's so important, not only for us, but those who we are stewarding. I'm talking about children, praise God, whomever is in your care, whomever God has placed in your care, praise God, and you are supposed to be a good steward of what he has given you, a good teacher, a good mother, hallelujah, a good father, praise God. Go ahead and take care of those things, praise God, hallelujah, and show yourself to them as you study. Do you understand, praise God, hallelujah, meaning that when you're reading the Bible, read in front of them. When you're praying, hallelujah, it doesn't matter if they're around, praise God, hallelujah. They need to hear, hallelujah, that crying out. They need to hear you pray aloud. They need to hear what it sounds like, how to pray. They need to be taught these things. We know that Jesus taught the disciples on how to pray. That's our Father's prayer, hallelujah, our Lord's prayer, praise God, hallelujah. Well, guess what? We need to teach our children how to pray. We need to teach those who we are stewarding over, praise God, hallelujah, who we're shepherding how to pray, Praise God, because prayer will change things. Prayer will have the Lord to move. Do you understand? He will not move off that throne, praise God, but he will send angels who have charge over you to move and break through. And that's all we need. Hallelujah. That's all we need, y'all. Praise God in the mighty name of Jesus, because that lets us know that the Lord has us on his mind in Jesus mighty name and we're grateful for that hallelujah let's just go ahead and pray over this word in the mighty name of Jesus we thank you for this word we thank you for opening the door to us oh lord god giving us clarity in this season oh father god thank you for exposing and uncovering chapter 19 of Luke lord god thank you for choosing this chapter as submission unto you father god for you know best in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus you know best what you uh what best represents you in submission hallelujah and we thank you for showing 
one of these things like you. Hallelujah. Lord, this chapter, because it is it is an understandable chapter, oh, Father God. It's comprehensible, and we love it, oh, Lord God. Hallelujah. We love your teachings, and we love your messages, oh, Lord God. And we love it when we get uh, to ourselves, and we're rereading it ourselves, and how you unfold, and how you uncover, and how you give us uh, a revelation on the word, Lord God, which is you. We're so grateful for it in the mighty name of Jesus. May each and every one of us, Lord God, be strengthened through this fast, and may we stay on this fast doing exactly what we're supposed to do on it, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, may we keep our mind on you, Lord God. May we keep our mind on you. May we glorify you. May we praise you. May we honor you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Just simply keep our mind on you. Just come on, Father God. Hallelujah. As we read it. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray that every single person who received this word, Lord God, be blessed and highly favored in the land. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, because we need to truly receive the Lord's word. This is a good word. God is good. Hallelujah. God is good. He is the word. It is a good word. It is a good word. Praise God. All right. Hallelujah. So I'm going to read today, praise God, chapter 19, and I'm going to read verses 1 through 5. And 5 is going to be the focus today. Hallelujah. And the title of this message is, There is a Place of Encounter. Let me say that again. There is a place of encounter. Let's read chapter 19 of Luke, starting at verse 1. And he entered and was passing through Jericho. This is Jesus. And behold, there was a man called by the name of Zacchaeus, and he was a chief tax gatherer, and he was rich. Praise God. Hallelujah. He had no uh, physical needs, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. But what we're going to learn is he had spiritual needs. Hallelujah. Three. And he was trying to see who Jesus was. He didn't know Jesus. He was trying to see, praise God. Hallelujah. And he was unable because of the crowd, for he was small in stature. And he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree in order to see him, for he was about to pass through that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for today I must stay at your house. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's just go ahead and uncover what the Lord was saying to me during this time about this word and take this to the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pray over it in the mighty name of Jesus and, and go ahead and discover what the Lord is telling you about uh, verses one through five as well, because he is giving revelation. He's speaking in this time. Hallelujah. And I'm pretty sure there are so many lessons that can be learned through these verses. So go ahead and spend that quality time, that intimate time with the Lord. Praise God. And see what he is saying to you. Hallelujah. But the Lord was sharing with me that God has a divine appointed time. God has a divine appointed time. See, the first day, praise God, hallelujah, the very first day, we, we had to switch positions. That's the first day of the fast. We had to switch positions, praise God. And then the second day, we ran ahead, hallelujah. We were praying, y'all, praise God. Our mindset was focused on running ahead, staying within the race, continuing to run, hallelujah, not stalling, not delaying, continuing to focus on what God has for us, praise God. We're going to go ahead and run ahead. We're going to go ahead and sprint. We're going to go ahead and jog, hallelujah. We're going to go ahead and walk ahead, hallelujah. However you get there, you're going ahead, praise God. Hallelujah. Those were the two things that we did, first day, second day. Third day, hallelujah, we need to understand that there's a place of encounter. Now, let me tell you why these three days are important. See, some of you have yet to switch positions. And because you haven't switched positions, you haven't reached your breakthrough. Some of you, hallelujah, you heard the voice of the Lord. You know what you were supposed to do. And you decided that you did not have the means to do it, the finances. You decided, hallelujah, you, that you were just without certain things, resources, in order to get it done. So you just didn't do it. You leaned on your own understanding and you didn't lean on God. Hallelujah. And guess what? You stayed in that place. Well, let's think about the Israelites. The Israelites, they were in a place. They were in a place of captivity in Egypt. And it took Moses to lead them out of captivity. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because God made Moses a God to Pharaoh. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when we look at the Bible and we look at that example, yes, the Israelites were in a place. But in that place that they were in, they were captive. They were not blessed in that place. They were in, in captivity. 
They were slaves in that place. Some of you, praise God, you won't move out of that place, but you were slave in that place. You were captive in that place, praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody got to come and get you out. Hallelujah. Because even though you're in that place, praise God, and you've gotten used to being a slave, hallelujah, that's not the portion that God has for you. He does not have that for you. Maybe you've gotten used to not having money. You've gotten used to being broke. Maybe you've gotten used to not being in a, a relationship, praise God, hallelujah. You've gotten used to being lonely. Maybe you've gotten used to, praise God, hallelujah, not having anything, hallelujah, not even starting anything. You can't even see yourself start a business, praise God. You can't even see yourself having more, hallelujah. You're in a place of captivity. Praise God. Hallelujah. And think about this. When the Israelites were led out of Egypt by Moses, what happened? Praise God. Hallelujah. They had to go through the wilderness. Hallelujah. And even the ones who kept their wife and going, they couldn't even, they didn't even make it over to the promised land to see it because they kept griping. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, praise God, the Lord is taking you from a place to a place. And sometimes he'll take you, hallelujah, to a wilderness just so you can shed some of those things that are still on you. Hallelujah. Before you get to the promised land, because you can't go into the promised land, hallelujah, being a certain way. The promised land is the promised land. That's an elevated place, y'all. Hallelujah. I mean, you have to be a certain way to get in that place, praise God. But then there's a journey that you have to take to get there. Hallelujah. And the Lord is letting you know that your breakthrough is in position. Let me tell you, hallelujah. He says your breakthrough is in position. Your marriage is in position, praise God. Hallelujah. Your financial increase is in position. That new business is in position. Hallelujah. You just haven't left that place. You just haven't switched places, praise God. Hallelujah. But look at Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus switched places. He saw that he couldn't see. He knew, praise God, if he stayed where he was, hallelujah, Jesus was going to pass him by, praise God, because there were so many people taller than him because he was a small stature, praise God. So what did he do? He ran ahead. He anticipated, y'all, hallelujah. He didn't stay and just wait and thought that he could break through the crowd. No, 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 no. He ran ahead, hallelujah, because he wanted to position himself so that he could see. This is his mindset. He wants to position himself. But let me tell you about God. Hallelujah. God has already made the plans, has already set the time for everything to come forth for you, praise God. So here, look at five. It says, and when Jesus came to that place, let's go back to four. And he ran, this is the case, and he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree in order to see him. And he was about to pass through that way, praise God. So Zacchaeus ran ahead. He climbed, he elevated, y'all. This is your studying to show yourself approved, y'all. This is where you are focusing in on the Lord. You are consecrating, praise God. Hallelujah. You are elevating in this season. Hallelujah. You're climbing that sycamore tree, praise God, so that you can see in the mighty name of Jesus, so you can have clarity, hallelujah, so that you, praise God, can have that encounter. Because once he got to the tree, y'all, and once he climbed, praise God, hallelujah, guess what happened? Five, and when Jesus came to the place, he looked up. Did Jesus look up when he was passing by uh, that, that original place where Zacchaeus was in and he had to kind of move from that place in order to climb that tree to see? Well, did, did Jesus uh, stop in that place? No, he didn't stop in that place. There was no stopping there. There was no timing there for a stop. Hallelujah. The Lord says there is a place of encounter. There is a place, particular places of encounter when it comes to God. Y'all better understand this. When it comes to God, when it comes to what you've been praying for, when it comes to what he's releasing, there's a particular place of encounter. So when Zacchaeus climbed the sycamore tree and Jesus came to that place, he came to that spot and he looked up. Hallelujah. Do you understand? He came to that spot and he looked up. Hallelujah. And said to him, Zacchaeus. Jesus called him by name. Hallelujah. Jesus called him by name. Praise God. Zacchaeus did exactly what he was supposed to do. He, he switched positions. He ran ahead. He climbed the tree. He elevated, praise God. And guess what? Hallelujah. Jesus looked upon him, praise God. Called him. Hallelujah. And guess what he said? He said, hurry and come down, praise God. For today, I must stay at your house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus must stay at Zacchaeus' 
house, praise God. This is a place of encounter. When Jesus is at your house, hallelujah, because we know that he knocks on the door of our hearts, praise God. When you let him in, praise God, and he stay in your house, praise God. That's a place of encounter. That's a place of the miraculous. That's a place of breakthrough. That's a place, hallelujah, of sign, miracles, and wonders. That's a place, hallelujah, of power in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you hear me? Praise God. The Lord shared that there is a place of encounter. Are you in place today? See, this fast is going to have us to consecrate to the Lord like never before, praise God. We're going to get in our places. We're going to run ahead. We don't mind switching positions, praise God, because we want to, we desire to encounter Jesus. We desire to see him, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, we have a relationship with Jesus. And those of you who don't, praise God, I pray that you draw close to the Lord. I pray that you begin reading your Bible. Hallelujah. Have a desire to get to know the Lord. Hallelujah. And watch him encounter you. I'm telling you, he's going to encounter you. He, he's going to encounter you. He's the living God. He's going to do it. Praise God. Hallelujah. You just get into that living word and watch what happens when you start reading that word, when you start believing that word, when you start, I'm telling you, entangling yourself with the word, you start having intimacy with that word, meaning that you are meditating on it. Praise God. You are, um, you're meditating on it. Praise God. You are, uh, 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 praying out these words. Hallelujah. You, they are, uh, literally being planted in you like seed. Hallelujah. Because this is the living bread. Praise God. You are getting full off of it, of it in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is going to encounter you. God is going to encounter you. Hallelujah. You're going to hear from the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Understand what I'm telling you. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord said, that God's divine appointed time, hallelujah, we need to understand it. The Lord was sharing with me that there is a place of release. When Zacchaeus ran ahead and he climbed that tree, praise God, Jesus stopped at that place. See, that was a stopping point, hallelujah. That was where he was supposed to stop, hallelujah, in time. Because everything is according to God's time, hallelujah, his timing, his season. And guess what? That was the perfect season, the perfect timing, and Zacchaeus was in place. Hallelujah. He didn't stay back there, y'all. He ran ahead and he climbed that tree. He was in place, and that was the place of encounter. We got to get to our places of encounter, praise God. This could be spiritual encounters where we have to get to a place where we know this Bible, hallelujah. And I'm not saying that, praise God, you got to be a super scholar, but you have to know something, hallelujah. You have to believe that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. You know, you have to accept him, praise God. And just as he said, hallelujah, come on down to Zacchaeus, for today I must stay at your house. Guess what Zacchaeus did, hallelujah. And he hurried and came down and received him glad. Receive Jesus gladly. See, we got to receive Jesus gladly. We got to receive what the Lord is releasing gladly, praise God. Hallelujah. Because we know that he has good plans for us. And the Lord also said that there is a place of breakthrough. There is a place of breakthrough. What was Zacchaeus? He was a chief tax gatherer, praise God. Hallelujah. And people did not look upon uh, tax collectors kindly. Praise God. In this time, understand, they did not. Hallelujah. These were debt collectors in the mighty name of Jesus. They were not looked upon kindly. Praise God. The Lord says that there is a place of breakthrough. Zacchaeus didn't know it yet, but this was his place of breakthrough. This is his place of encounter. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just as the Lord said, this is his place of release. Because the Lord was showing him, hallelujah, who he was, praise God, hallelujah. He called him by name and he said he must stay at his house, praise God, hallelujah. And when you encounter Jesus and you begin to believe him, praise God, you begin to follow him, make him your Lord and Savior, you're free and free indeed. That tax collector, that debt collector, free and free indeed, praise God, hallelujah. But we're not there yet in the mighty name of Jesus, praise God, hallelujah. So what we're going to do right now is just pray for the day, hallelujah, uh, over this word in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you believe it and receive it and just know that there is a place of encounter. And we're going to focus and pray today every hour on our place of encounter. May we not miss it. May we uh, uh, move into our places. May we, hallelujah, as we have switched positions and as we have ran ahead, praise God, may we be in that place of encounter at the appropriate time so we can receive the release, so we can receive the breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. 
Thank you, Father God, for your goodness, grace, and mercy. Oh, Lord God, thank you for the release. Thank you for the breakthrough. And thank you for the encounter in the particular place you have set for us. Lord God, may we not miss it in the mighty name of Jesus as we come unto you as your humble children, oh, Father God. We love you so much. Hallelujah. Thank you for giving us orders today. Thank you for letting us know what we are focusing on and what we're praying on, Lord God, what we're meditating on in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for allowing us, hallelujah, to hear what you have to say, speaking unto us, oh, Lord God, directing our steps and giving us instructions, oh, Father God. Thank you so much, hallelujah, for you are the only one who can do it, oh, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you for drawing us closer to you, Father God. We have your uh, uh, listening ear, oh, Father God, for you said you would incline your ear to us. So we have your listening ear, Father God. Hear our prayers, oh, Lord. Hear our cry, oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May they register in heaven, oh, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. For we are your children crying out to you today, oh, Lord God. Meet us where we are, oh, Father God. Hallelujah. Encounter us, oh, Lord God. Hallelujah. As we are consecrating and as we are sincerely calling upon you, Father. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh, Lord God. Keep us, oh, Father God. Keep our families, our children. Hallelujah. Our marriages, Lord God. Keep it, hallelujah, the position that you have placed us in, Lord God, whether it's on a job or a business, Lord God, hallelujah, at school, oh, Father God, hallelujah, no matter where we are, even at home, if we are homebodies, Lord God, hallelujah, meaning that we are the home carers, Lord God, taking care of the children, taking care of the household, oh, Father God, meet us where we are, no matter where we are, Father God, hallelujah, hallelujah, taking care of the elderly, Lord God, you've been bringing that up most, hallelujah, even the widows, hallelujah, the orphans, oh, Father God, hallelujah, Lord God. God, we're praying right now in the mighty name of Jesus to meet us where we are in the mighty name of Jesus, for you have not left us behind and you have not forgotten about us, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. No situation is greater than you, oh Lord. Not one situation is greater than you, oh Lord. Hallelujah. So we give all our worries and our cares away to you. We place them in your hand, oh Father God, because we can do nothing with them, oh Lord. But we know that you can direct our steps and give us exactly what we need in this hour, oh Father God. May we encounter you in the correct position, in the right position place oh lord hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray and we thank you oh lord hallelujah for meeting us there and calling our name hallelujah and coming into our abode our house oh father god to stay with us in jesus mighty name you are so welcome we are gladly welcoming you into our homes oh lord god hallelujah into our temples thank you oh lord god in jesus mighty name we pray we love you jesus amen I pray that you have a blessed day today. Praise God. Remember, we're fasting from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You are eating clean. Praise God. Drink water. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. And continue to pray upon every hour in the mighty name of Jesus, whether it's in tongue or you're just praying aloud. You're crying aloud to the Lord. But give the Lord the time. Hallelujah. To speak back to you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.